Welcome back Valley friends, today we're being artsy with our friend Pumba in the quest Fine Arts for Warthogs. To unlock this quest, you will need to reach level 4 friendship with Pumba. Once you're ready to get started you can chat with him. Pumba was chatting with Mickey and he told him all about having hobbies and how much fun they are. Pumba wants to find a hobby he can enjoy, something artistic like what Rafiki does with his paintings. We suggest perhaps pottery would be the right hobby for Pumba and all his friends can join in. We just need to find out what supplies we'll need to put together a pottery class. Here your story can take one of two routes. If you do not have a rift in time, you will be prompted to speak to the Clay Queen herself, Minnie. But if you have the DLC, you will be prompted to chat with Rapunzel. Other than this small detail nothing else in the quest changes. Rapunzel has not done much pottery herself but gives us a list of what she thinks we might need. I already had all the materials needed but let's go through the list and where you'll find everything. First up you will need two tinkering parts. For these you will need to go mining for iron in the Glade of Trust or Forest of Valor, then use these to craft some iron ingots. We can then use our ingots to craft some tinkering parts. Then we'll need 5 white marsh milkweeds, which can be found in the Glade of Trust. Next we need to head over to the Forest of Valor to find 7 red bell flowers. Then we will need 8 pieces of hardwood which you can find in the Glade of Trust, Forest of Valor, Sunlit Plateau, or Frosted Heights. And lastly you will need 8 pieces of clay, which you can dig for in the Glade of Trust, Sunlit Plateau, or Forgotten Lands. But I like to remove the large bones to get clay fast. Once we've collected all our materials we can head over to our crafting station to craft for pottery wheels. Make sure you have the pottery wheels in your bag, then head back over to Pumba to deliver them. Pumba is so excited to get started on his new hobby and wants to share it with his friends. He needs us to invite them all while he gets everything set up in Pride Rock for the first pottery class. First we'll invite Nala to the class. She's intrigued by the idea and would love to join us. Next we can invite Simba. He would do anything for his friends, so he's in. And finally we'll see if we can convince Timon to join us. After telling him his paws would be perfect for working with Clay, the meerkat is in and I'm sure Pumba would be happy to see his best friend there to support him. Now that everyone has been invited, we can get our pottery class started. We'll need to head into Pride Rock and chat with Pumba. While he considers what to make for his first attempt at pottery, we'll need to check in on the others. We'll start with Simba. Simba is having some difficulty because his paws are too big, but after some advice, he manages to create a cute bowl. Next we'll see how Nala is doing. She's having some difficulty coming up with ideas. So, we suggest playing with the clay until something comes to her. She manages to make an impression of her paw. Then we can check in with Timon. He's managed to make an interesting looking mug, but insists it's a brand new invention, not just a simple cup. We'll let him think it's a great invention, the important thing is, he had fun. Now we just need to check in on Pumba to see if he's decided what to do for his first pottery project. After some thinking Pumba decided to make a pottery piece to remind him of his favorite food, a plate of grubs, and it looks super cute. Pumba loves all the pieces everyone has created and wishes there was a way he could show them to everyone in the valley. We tell him we could definitely do that by putting on an art exhibition. We know just what we'll need to get it set up. First we'll need to chat with Uncle Scrooge to see if he has the furniture we'll need for the show. Sadly we can't just buy the items this time round. Uncle Scrooge has a list of supplies he needs and he'll trade us the display pillars for the supplies. First we will need one orange and red marsh milkweed which you can find in the Glade of Trust. Then we will need three white bell flowers from the Forest of Valor. 
then we will need to head to Dazzle Beach to find 3 red and white hydrangea. Next we'll need to mine for 4 emeralds which can be found in the Glade of Trust or Forest of Valor. And we need 3 citrines which can be found in the Glade of Trust or Sunlit Plateau. Once we've collected all the supplies Scrooge wanted, we can head back to the store to complete our trade. We ask Scrooge about the special project he's working on, he explains that he has been exploring the art of flower arrangements with Minnie and Daisy. It's not the kind of project I expected him to be interested in but at least we got our display pillars we needed. Now we can let Pumba know we've got everything we need to start setting up the art show. Pumba is so excited about his first art show. He hands us all the pottery pieces which have fully dried by now. Now all we need to do is set everything up. Find a spot in your valley where you'd like to set up the art show. Then you will need to place the four display pillars. Once they have been set up, you can place each of the pottery pieces on a pillar. Then wait for Pumba to arrive at the show and chat with him. This will conclude the quest fine arts for warthogs. As always please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I will see you next time as we continue our Disney adventures.